was posted in Afghanistan on uh, in the fall of 2009. We heard a very, very loud kind of cracking sound, and that was when we hit the improvised explosive device, flew up in the air a few meters, and flipped. Pretty much my entire body was affected some way or another. Uh, leg was amputated through knee. Uh, my left, my, that was my right leg. My left leg had a lot of flesh missing and muscle. There was a risk that I was going to lose that as well, but luckily, thanks to the doctors here, I didn't. My general mobility was so limited for so long that I really didn't know if I'd be able to walk the way I do now. Patients feel very protected and safe here, and so they actually take a few more risks. You don't usually push yourself quite as hard as you do when you're in a system where you know you're in a protected environment, you're hooked up to a harness, and you really can't hurt yourself. For me, Bouchra is a fierté. La fierté de voir d'où elle est arrivée quand elle est revenue de l'Afghanistan et ce qu'elle est capable d'accomplir maintenant. Je me sens fière d'avoir été, d'avoir fait partie de l'équipe qui l'a aidée à être où elle est aujourd'hui et puis um, et de continuer à l'encourager à aller plus loin. So it's nice that you're able to practice on those surfaces that are a little bit more intimidating and without the risk of hurting yourself. If in the video you're on a boat and the boat tilts right, the actual ground will tilt right. So there's a lot of things that I tried on the Karen system that I would never try outside and it really helped me gain my trust in my prosthetic and increase my abilities. The uh, Karen virtual reality system is actually a room size 3D virtual reality environment where we can take somebody with a physical or with some sort of a physical rehab need and put them in an environment to be able to push them to be able to have them do things that you normally couldn't do within a center without, say, going outside or into a special environment. The City of Ottawa has provided us with a raw map and 3D of the whole downtown city. And so now we have actually the full downtown system available. And this all has to run in real time, right? The treadmill's going, the data collection's going, the platform. So it's a little bit of technical expertise needed to now get this city down into a spot where it works effectively within our system. So we're now working on different aspects of downtown. And it's good for someone in rehab or in research to be able to work within a known environment. It's been really fun to watch her find what I call her inner athlete. Um, dealing with the injuries that she's had and recovering from them requires a lot of hard work and dedication, really on the level of somebody who's an elite athlete. And it's been fun to sort of watch her kind of find out and figure out how she can uh, find those skills and sort of make them work for her. She's had great success. It's really nice to know that the community in Ottawa recognizes the need to support equipment like this. And now that I've seen so many people go through, I've, I've been at the, at the rehab center for uh, over two years now, and I've seen people come in in wheelchairs and leave walking even without a cane. So it's such a nice, feeling to know that it is doing positive work and there is quantitative positive changes happening because of the rehab center here.